it cuts a kind of flat, the flat surface with a tip, and it cuts a really clean, uh, really clean hole when you uh, cut. It. Okay. So then, what I use. By the way, that's a little tip. These little uh, Ziggy's uh, saddles that you buy. I keep forgetting to uh, put them down for the camera here. <laughs> Uh, these are great little containers for when it comes see through. And, uh, so, in this little container, I have a dowel. So, I'm using a piece of dowel. Now, <clears throat> where do you find your dowels? That's another thing I want to mention. So, when you use your fill of foam brushes, doing your painting or what have you, you end up with a foam brush like this. So what you do, you remove this and put it in the garbage, <coughs> and you're left with a little piece of dough. So uh, you don't want to throw them all out. So this uh, Ferrero chocolate container is perfect for that. So use one of these. So when you go home tonight, or tomorrow, go to the store and buy some of these for your chocolates for your wife. And I just tell her you want the container back after she's finished with it. So they put their dough in it. Okay, so uh, then, of course, you need to know the size of this little guy. And a great thing for that is the is a caliper. And uh, you've all used these, I'm sure. And you put, the, of course, the caliper here, and you find out that this one is about 7 sixteenths. Uh, actually, there's another little point I just want to mention. Uh, if you ever want, there's a little hole in the, the back here now from the, the, the paintbrush. And if you ever want to know how deep that is, you can use this little guy and just push it in the hole like that. And push it tight. And then you look here and you know how deep it is. Okay? So I'm going to install this. And then the next thing was cut, cutting this hole. So this is a 7, seven sixteenths uh, hole I've cut in here. And uh, I'm going just to put a tiny bit of glue on the tip of this. Now I've got to remember, get ahead of myself real fast. The other thing I'm going to use is an is S hook. S, okay? This is called, it's got its name for what it, the way it looks. And this is going to be attached to this piece of dome. But the way to do it, of course, I gotta push this in first, part way. Then I put this guy on. Because once it's, good, once it's in there, it's going there to stay. I put a little touch of glue on there. And, and push it uh, all the way in. So there you have, there you have the S hook onto the dolly to hang your plant or your bird feeder. Isn't that beautiful? It's on the wrong side. You know what? Sorry, <laughs> No, no, that's good. I was like, why do you do that? Oh, great. You're, you're exactly all right. It has to go on the side. This side. You said your memory was short. Exactly. I explained it at the beginning. I'm short memory. Good thing I didn't make it too tight. Try assembly first. Oh, I did that already. I know. There you go. So, take a little saw. Cut this off. Saws, blogger. There you go. Take your sandpaper. Sand it off a little bit. There you have it. So, the next thing we do is uh, assemble this. 
So we're going to assemble this to the back here. And this here. So I found putting this in first kind of help. So so let's talk about this. Uh, I'm going to talk about this first. This cut here. So what uh, joint would you say this is? Dado. Dado. A dado. Yes. Uh, it is a dado joint in the U.S. and Canada. Actually, it's a it's a, a through dado because it goes all the way through. And uh, in the it's a housing dado or sorry a housing joint. In the UK, is a trench joint in France, in Europe, and uh, actually what it is is a slot or a trench that is cut into the surface of a piece of machinable material, usually wood. When viewed in a cross section, a dado has three sides. Note has three sides. Uh, uh, perpendicular to the grain and uh, if you cut it long ways with the grain it's called a groove so you got four names now for it to cut, to cut so for us really it's a it's a it's a dado cut what is it called in China <laughs> 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 they call it a mistake. <laughs> ah. Well, it's a tight fit, isn't it? <clears throat> now, uh, that's right. We don't need any glue for this part. The uh, it is uh, not the greatest fit, but the birds never complain. Uh, what are we going to do now? I just want to. Uh, so what I did, I pre pre drilled the holes and uh, used the number eight. Uh, counter sink because I'm going to use a number eight screw. And uh, now I mentioned that this was a, a dado uh, joint. So what do we call this one? Lighter joint. Well, it's, uh, I think it'd be a combination of miter dado, wouldn't it? A leaning dado. Hey, a leaning. <laughs> a leaning dado. <laughs> Okay. Calvin, did you, Calvin, did yes, go ahead. You tape, tilt your, your dado head to do that? Oh, that's what I didn't explain. I I, I bought, brought this along as well. Oh, a dado set, but I did not use the dado to do this. I used a, uh, a table saw because the dado was not wide enough with one setting. I was going to talk about dados if anybody uh, interested. You don't know anything about them, but you know we'll skip that for now. The uh, on this one, I used a table saw, uh, 45 till the 45 degrees, and just go back and forth. So any two screws on the back of this one. By the way, this this is a uh, a number H as I already mentioned, number eight screw, but it's a it's a, a Robertson. Robertson even has a square a square tip at the top here. They don't you bleed in these in the United States. They use Phillips down there, but this is a Canadian invention, so we use them up here. Okay, and uh, for this one, I'm just using the one screw. Because I don't think we need more than one screw. So that pulls it in pretty good. So there you have a bird feeder or 
flower pot hanger. And of course, you put this on a pillar somewhere. In my case, I have one mounted on my deck. My deck is uh, a second floor up because it's a lockout basement. So this is hanging out. And this is my handy dandy bird feeder. And it hangs right here. We don't have any squirrels around it. I don't think there are, I don't think there are any nuts living up there. It's <laughs> one, one. one for sure. And, and it actually is cracked as well. So I cut smooth this off, make a nice end. Now the beautiful part about this, this will never come off in your in the wind. Because if the wind is blowing that way, it's going to, you know, it pulls the the S hook toward up against the side there. And it's blowing this way, I can see it moving, it locks the opening. So I'm going on Drager's Den next week. And <laughs> uh, uh, maybe we'll pat this patent and uh, sell a lot of these uh, special mechanisms here. <laughs> There you go. So there's my uh, bird feeder hanger. Thank you very much.